Dana Janjandi, uh, ask you to say a few words uh, because this is the Chengmeng period. This is a time when traditionally we make uh, offerings and do acts of kindness and generosity to re uh, remember our ancestors, our relatives, friends, and companions uh, who have uh, been a part of our lives both in this life and also in the past because uh, the Buddha said that uh, beings have association, have contact, meet each other because of past lives, past associations. And we haven't just met each other uh, you know, in this occasion, uh, but there has been contact from the past and that brings us together. And so one of the duties of uh, the living is to remember with gratitude those who have passed away. And when we remember with gratitude, then one of the duties the Buddha said of a son or a daughter is to make offerings to their mother, their father, their relatives and friends once they've passed away. So this tradition is actually from the words of the Buddha. This is one of our duties because he said that our acts of generosity, when we intend to share the good merit that's obtained from that act of generosity, that wholesome intention, if other beings, if they're born in a realm which they can receive that, then they rejoice that we've remembered them, we, they rejoice that we've done an act of generosity in their name, and that rejoicing makes their mind wholesome. When the mind is wholesome, then that creates good karma, and that good karma then uh, can lead to their rebirth in a better realm or in a, even a, a more blissful realm or at least bring them happiness in that realm. So because beings are born in, in many realms, uh, both in the heaven realms and the realms of suffering, the way that the beings are experiencing unpleasant results of their actions, then if we do acts of kindness to them, uh, then we can help them out. Uh, I once asked one a very senior uh, bhikkhu who went to America I asked him when he came back because I knew he has many skills in this area. I said, is there many ghosts in the US? And he said, yes, a lot. And I asked him, well, why? And he said, because of two reasons. First, firstly, the belief in one life, the Christian idea of one life, it leads to very strong attachment. Now it's not necessarily Christian, but it's, you know, the a worldly view that there is only this existence, we come out of nothing, well then we'll die into nothing, or we come out of nothing, we're going to go, this is our only existence in the human realm, then that leads to very strong attachment to one's uh, physical possessions, one's house, one's home, and one's relatives, and therefore the unwillingness to let go when one passes away. So then they're reborn through that attachment with association to that people, those places, those situations. That's the first thing. And the second thing which he said is very important is there's no tradition in the West of sharing merit. So if a person is born in a realm of unhappiness, then none of their relatives ever do acts of generosity in their name. And therefore they can't rejoice and therefore because of their situation they don't have the opportunity to uh, do acts of generosity uh, in the same way we do, therefore they can't receive merit. And so he said wherever he went, he made sure the people offered sangha dana and shared the merit with the deceased. And uh, that helps him. And many people wonder, is it you know, actually possible to share merit? And I give the analogy, as you know, many of you maybe have children, who have studied overseas, yes, you have children studying in Australia or in England or the US, and supposing it's your birthday today and your sons who are in Melbourne or sons who are in the US or in England, they thinking of mum and thinking of dad and thinking, oh, it's their birthday today. They've been such wonderful parents. I have so much gratitude for everything they've done and they've sent me to be educated overseas here. Um, I will go out and do uh, an act, give some money to a charity that my mother likes or my father 
uh, encourages, give, give something, do something good to an old person or help somebody today out of worshipping the goodness in my mother or father. Okay, you're here in Malaysia, haven't done anything. They're over in overseas in a different continent and they go and do an act of generosity or even go to a monastery and offer dana in your name. And then in the evening, they ring up and say, hello, mum, hello, dad, uh, you know, I love you very much and you know, happy birthday. I'm so grateful for you that I know you're such a kind and good person. Uh, I've gone and offered to a charity today to appreciate and out of respect for the goodness you've taught me, the virtues you've instilled in me. Then I've carried on that act of kindness and generosity in your name today. Would that make you happy as a parent? I think yes. And you haven't done anything. But just to hear that somebody else who is a relative, a friend, has done something out of gratitude and appreciation of the goodness you've taught them and instilled in them, and they're carrying that on in your name and doing something good, that would make you feel very content as a parent that I've instilled good qualities in my son and daughter. And that goodness sometimes would carry on much longer, a sense of gratification that they've done that in your name, even more so than if they said, oh, mum, I bought you a birthday cake or a birthday card today. Uh, it's sometimes much more deeper and profound. Uh, and so you haven't done anything, but you have been informed they have done the goodness out of respect for you. That is a mental thing. You've received that information. So too, if you do an act of goodness today, like here we have just offered this Sangadana, if you make a mental uh, determination, I share this with my mother, my father, my relatives, my friends, and you say their name in your mind as the monks are chanting, that is like the phone call, yes? Yeah? The phone call, the power of the mind is incredibly powerful. It can transgress beyond boundaries of realms from one realm to another. The power of a concentrated mind is very strong. And by informing your relatives and friends, you may not know where they have been born, but they can be sensitive. In certain realms, they can pick that up, just like a phone call. If you've got a charged battery on your phone, if your battery's not charged, it won't go. If you've paid your bills, it will go. You're making that connection. Someone receives it. They inform that, that can bring great delight and happiness to them from a long time. So beings in other realms, if you're concentrating your mind and informing them, may my mother, my father, both in this life and all my mothers and fathers of every lifetime I've had in the realm of samsara, I offer the, share the merits that I've made today with all those beings because they have brought me to this point in life where I've learnt the Dhamma learnt the Buddha's teachings, I have gratitude and appreciation for you all and I'm offering this gift for you. This is something that is fulfilling our duties that the Buddha said we had to the departed. And, it, and when we share merit, many people think, oh, if I give away all my merit to my departed, I won't have any merit left. Actually, the Buddha said, no. Your merit actually increases if you share it. Because the moment you share merit, that is one of the wholesome states of mind. You actually produce more merit by sharing it. Yes. And that, that act of sharing, it's like someone who lights a candle, if we like a candle on the shrine, then that produces a small amount of light in this room if the lights are gone out. But anyone else, if we share that light, they can light their candle from that candle on the shrine and then everyone can have a candle. And that candle is not diminished. So to the sharing of merit, you can give happiness and peace and goodwill to all beings uh, and your merit is not diminished, it is actually increased. And so to the sharing of merit is a very important ceremony which is a tradition 
in our Chinese tradition here. And so I encourage you to do that uh, when the monks will go and take the food, uh, receive this act of generosity and kindness you've all done today. And then uh, while we're going to take the food, just think in your minds, you know, I'd like to share all this goodness with my, my parents of every lifetime I've had in the realm of samsara, my relatives, all my relatives, all my friends, whatever beings who have passed away, who uh, I can share merit with, whatever realm they've been born in, may they rejoice in this act of goodness I have done, now or in the past, and may it produce happiness uh, in beings who are in realms of happiness, and produce happiness in beings who are in realms of unhappiness, so that they escape from that realm of unhappiness through the power of the merit I've shared with them. And the monks will give the anamodana on that occasion. Okay.